Welcome, ladies, to the Real Estate Investor Show, providing inspiration, strategies, and insight to empower women investors to live balanced and financially free lives. Now, here are your co-hosts, Liz and Andressa. Welcome back, ladies. This is Liz. And this is Andressa. Welcome back to the Real Estate Investor Show. Andressa, what are we talking about as we empower women to live a financially free and balanced life? What are we talking about today? We're talking about burnout. And I, you might be thinking, isn't this about real estate? Yes, indeed. Our three pillars is real estate investing, business strategies, and self-care. And we believe that you as an investor should look into self-care because that does affect how you show up in being a successful real estate investor. All right, Liz, I'm going to talk about burnout today. And or for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to share my experience, right? I cannot share Liz's experience. I can share what happened to me. And here's my theory. Nobody can overcome burnout on their own. I don't believe people wake up in the morning and think, I'm intentionally going to burn out today. <laughs> I'm going to have back-to-back -back calls. I'm going to skip lunch. I didn't sleep well, but that's okay. I'm going to continue going, going, going because I'm going to achieve my goal to burn down. Nobody does that intentionally. But I do believe that we are some way, shape, or form addicted to our behaviors. And we do that unconsciously. And that is the reason why we cannot overcome burn out on our own. And how does that look to me is, is the same thing that I, I, I mentioned before. Not sleeping well, working hours much longer, having back-to-back -back calls. And how does that show up? My nails. The stress. You look at my nails and how they look like. I ended up at a hospital with IV on my vein, that's the final wake-up call, right? And then you start looking around and say, well, what's happening here? How did I get here? People know that. I, don't you think I knew that my, my behavior and my constant overworking and not taking care of myself will lead to burnout? Yeah, right? It's not like science that people say, I have no clue what caused burnout. And, but knowing does not change a behavior. So I'm going to share with you guys three tips that you can start doing today in order to reset, reset your, your schedule. So the first thing that I did, ladies, was to... Uh, completely check up. And I'm not mentioning about you going to your primary doctor doing that checkup. That is not freaking checkup. As of whatsoever, I'm talking about hormone tests, allergy test, it, it, you know, um, celiac test, whatever that test is. I did all the tests. I, I pee and I had saliva during a couple of days, it's like a whole bunch of tests to really understand where is that you need to focus on and where is not. And from there, a doctor makes recommendations for supplements and things that can help your body, right? Sleeping, I had to commit to, to that, right? So number one, full, full, full test. Number two, I call Hold space. And I'm going to share what do I mean by that. It's a request that you're going to make to the people that you work with, to your family, to your friends, to hold space for you, right? Liz, you probably know. If I can, I will do back-to-back -back calls so we can get S-H-I-T done. I don't know if there are kids in the car, so that's I just spell it pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right? done. Not pretty quickly. They probably were like, I know what she said. <laughs> but anyway, I would do back-to-back -back calls. So I give my team permission to say, no, we're not going to do that. Or no, we're going to have 
this this call later at nine. We're going to respect the time that we have for you this week. Or let's do something that does not infringe the boundaries. So the boundaries, I need to share with them what they are and what they are not in terms of communication. What time do we start texting and sending voxers and emails to, to each other? And ladies, this is an ongoing thing, okay? That doesn't mean that I don't drop the ball or my team doesn't drop the ball, but we reset. We go back to the boundaries. Oh, let's 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 go back to, to that. So there's no like perfection. We've got to have some grace because we are in recovery mode here. Remember that, right? But if I were to let me by myself to overcome burnout without the support of family members and team members, I don't think I can ever achieve that. But I, I need and I want to give them the power to call me out and to hold space for me and to say, no, we're, that doesn't match the lifestyle that you verbally express it and the culture of our company. Let's not do that. And I got to back out and just follow through. The number three thing, though, is commit to yourself. And Liz, you and I, I think that we have done a lot of work for the real estate investor community, but I don't, we have shared, but behind the scene, the work that you and I have done on ourselves, right? Separately and together, it's equal or more. I, I, I believe it's we face our own demons. We face the things that trigger us and my commitment to myself above anybody else. Right. I love my son to death, but I need to be committed to myself so I can show up 100 percent for him and for you guys, for my family and for everybody that I, I care about. But I come first. I have to come first. Otherwise, I'm showing up half cup, full. So that commitment that I have is to work on myself. And as I get not older, wiser, right? I have to start facing different types of work. So it's not this thing that you go and you grab it and you're like, all right, I did some personality tests. I already know who I am, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. Okay, my work is done. Things are going to show up differently. In, in your life and your commitment to yourself and having grace when you drop the ball and when you don't follow through, it will avoid burnout because you are consciously making decisions that are aligned to the lifestyle that you want to be living. So that's that. what I've got for you guys today. You can all oh, that... burn out on your own. Number one, full test so you know what you're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> number two, request support from your team members to hold space. And number three, it's all about you. Got to commit and have the discipline to follow through and have grace at the same level. Yeah, I love that. And I think it's a continual process. I think you said that, Andressa, but it is something you need to, I was sharing on a, a webinar the other day about like a state of the union. You need to have that kind of time on a weekly basis to say, how am I showing up for myself? Because if you don't ask the question on an ongoing basis in a focused way, anything goes, right? Sounds like a great idea, but you have to actually get it in your calendar and get a, a habit around it, right? So. Absolutely. And if you want, guys want more information about our journey, or if you're interested in really sharing your experience and what's working for you, go to our Facebook group community. Share what's coming up for you when you listen to our podcast. Share what you want to know more, and we're happy to, to support you. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed this podcast and want to receive updates on our next interviews, go to our website, therealestateinvestor.com. There, you can subscribe to our show, become part of our investor community, and get updates on upcoming episodes. If you like our show, please share it with other women who would benefit. And don't forget to leave us a rating on iTunes. We'd really appreciate it. And as always, we encourage you to take one action as a result of today's show and put it into motion so you can live both a financially free and balanced life. Thanks for spending time with us. Ciao.